Welcome to Cells to Symptoms, a case-based way of learning pathology. When thinking about pathology in general, it's always good to consider the normal first. Okay then, so let's represent the gastrointestinal tract transversely. It's a simple tube with its lining epithelium. We're just going to look at this segment of the bowel wall. So first of all, here's the lining epithelium with its regular epithelial cells and their nuclei. This epithelium sits on a basement membrane. The supporting connective tissue is referred to as lamina propria. And this is a very loose connective tissue layer, including lymphocytes and small capillary vessels. Beneath this, we have this quite ill-defined muscular layer, which is known as the muscularis mucosae. Beneath that, a further connective tissue layer, which includes some slightly larger blood vessels, and finally, we show the muscularis propria, shown here as a single block of muscle, although in reality this has two layers, the longitudinal and circular layers. So let's label the diagram. So first of all, the lining epithelium with its basement membrane, which I'll abbreviate here to just BM. Beneath that, the lamina propria. Then the muscularis mucosae literally meaning the muscle layer of the mucosa, then the submucosa, and finally the proper muscle layer or muscularis propria. And we can finally annotate the diagram by saying that the epithelium, together with lamina propria and muscularis mucosae, constitute the mucosa. So we have then three basic layers, that is the mucosa, the submucosa, and muscularis propria. Thank you for visiting Cells to Symptoms. We hope you found this video both interesting and informative.